Hi, this is Steve, Desert Dwellers, and um, got my Taurus PT 101 here, which is a Beretta clone. And I need to need to take the extractor and firing pin out. I need the extractor out. I had actually just taken it out and put it back together, but um, um, I can't find any good videos for this particular model or, or this style of Taurus. Um, so I'm going to do a quick video on it. So. The first thing you're going to do when you want to take this apart is, of course, remove the magazine, set it aside, verify it is empty, push on your takedown lever on the opposite side here, rotate that down so you can pull your slide off. Okay, so we don't need a frame, so we're going to set that there. Okay, now we're going to take the spring out, so you just put a little pressure, lift the spring out there, set it aside. Same with the barrel, so it just slips right on out. Uh, if this pops out, it's okay, it's not that hard to put back together and we'll go do that also. So now, we got the extractor here, firing pin in the back, and the adjustable sight. Now, to get this apart, we're going to first have to take this side off. Now there's a pin going across here, so you're gonna need um, a little punch something that you get that pin out with. And I got some files here to kind of brace the item so it doesn't rotate on me too bad. Oh, actually I'm going to go the other way for this one. And I don't think it really matters, it's my preference. So I would start tapping that pin out and remove your little pin, set it aside, do not lose it. Now there's also the adjustment screw right here on top. This is your elevation adjustment. This needs to come out. So it's a very thin screwdriver. Put pressure down, back it on out a little bit. And then once you get it all the way out of the threads, the sight will lift out. Right there. So we're gonna set that aside. There's a couple of springs here and a little spring in that spring out spring and cap that would go in here and we'll show this a little bit more on the reassembly so i'm going to set that stuff aside all right so once you have that out <coughs> you see the pin here and here this holds the extractor in place all right so the pin has to go out through the top that's why we had to take the side off so just push with your to get the pin out. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. Then we got the extractor. And then there's a little spring right in behind the extractor. Taking a quick give punch on. And that's how the extractor will come out. So we're gonna set those aside. And I always usually just group my pieces together like this. The firing pin comes out, and then the part here and the there it is. That's the firing pin safety that pops out to the top, and then the firing pin spring is right there. Okay, so if you watched my videos, you know I had a few failure to extract on this gun, so I had taken this this extractor out and filed. A little bit right here. I'd already taken care of that, so now we're just going to go back to the reassembly. All right. So now your firing pin. You got this notch. That's where the extractor is going to run in, right in there, just like that. Okay. So you also got a flat edge here. This is going to go upwards. That's what this catches on. So spring goes across in the front. Very simple. Slide it in the hole with the flat spot facing up towards the top of the gun. Once you get it back far enough, you can slip this piece in and it's only gonna go in one way um, to catch here and it's gonna slap in like such. Next, set the spring in to the side where it belongs. The extractor, you're gonna set in and you gotta push the firing pin forward enough 
that the extractor falls into place. And if it's not, oh, fire pin turned on me. And if it's not lined up right, your your extractor will not fall into place right. So there we go. So once I have that in place, then you just take your pin and drop it in while putting pressure on your extractor screen. You got the pin in there, but it's not always seated, so just kind of push it all the way down to it locks, and it's more flush with the bottom here than with the top. Um, gravity will keep it down in place. Okay, so at that point, our firing pin is now locked back in place. The extractor is now locked, locked back in place. So then we're going to do, we got to reassemble the adjustable sight here. So the first one we're going to put in is the little, little tiny spring with the little cap that goes in it, and it goes into this hole right here. Just work it in there. The cap goes up because it's going to put pressure on the, on the sight for adjustments. And I think this one is more actually to keep the firing pin block pushed down, but and this one is to help adjust your sights. Um, they probably work and you can actually see a little wearing mark with a spring. I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera, but you'll see where it goes. It goes just forward of the screw hole. So then you're gonna set your sight back down and you can see you got the, the screw and it's gonna go right in that hole. So put a little pressure down, get a little screwdriver, Start cranking it down a little bit. And obviously since you just took the sight off, unless you remembered how many uh, turns you did, you're gonna have to like re-sight it in for at least the elevation, if not windage. Windage shouldn't be affected. So anyway, once you get that done, you're gonna put some pressure here, get your pin lined up, and then bit and now you got a little bit bigger punch I get it down and then you kind of just want to feel where it kind of disappears and you can't feel it from either edge so now I'm back to the smaller punch so oh, I'm going to just a touch too far but that's okay I just flop it over, touch a little bit. Gonna go just a touch more. All right, so we're back reassembled. So to put it back together, right, we're gonna do the barrel and we're gonna show you that again. Okay, this piece comes off, which doesn't come off easy. There's a little pin that retains it. So make sure the pins in back. The front rounded piece slips in here and you want to kind of go above that pin, the pin, this pin here. Work, but, but you can't go too high because if you go too high it won't lock into place. So I'm trying to show the camera and my angle is two different things so it's being a little stubborn for me. And it's just a matter of just lining it up exactly where it needs to go. There we go, I think. Get one side in and the other side doesn't want to go in, as usual. Coming in from this side, I can see it a little bit better. Okay, and Eventually, you got to work at it a little bit, but she'll pop back in place. Anyway, you just set your burrow in. Make sure it's all the way back, that's as far back as it'll go. Spring, you got your guide rod here. Guide rod goes against the barrel. Well, actually, that little piece that went on the barrel. So, your hands are a little 
greasy, which mine are, and I just kind of popped that one out. You got to kind of be careful because since most of the barrel is exposed up here, you can pop that out of place easy. So anyway, just put it in, pull your finger in, you know, to get down into the, the spot, pop it down, and once you're in that spot, you're good to go. Slide it back on. Um, I usually just line up the back right here. One finger in the trigger guard, one on the slide. Um, and once I get that lined up, I just rotate it back up. Whoop, fingers are slipping. Rotate it back up, and we're good to go. And that's all there was to it. Uh, when I get a chance, I'm going to take this back out and test it again. See if that uh, solved my failure to extract problem. If not, I might re you know, re-grind it a little bit more. Or just buy a new one and replace it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And I will try to get back as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.